shoot him, go get it. No. It's on my wall. No, we're not going here. We're live. Oh, we're live. hello. <laughs> In movies. Are you, are you starting it? Oh, we already did. Oh. Yeah. I'll have the poop sign up. She started it this morning. 20 minutes early. <laughs> what are you talking about? 20 minutes early. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Doc 360 episode. I wasn't on the last episode. I heard it was really good. <laughs> it was quite better. <laughs> episode 5, right? Already. Holy mackerel. Season's almost over. I don't know how long we're going. I don't know. <laughs> um, today's talk about graphics. So we have PJ to my right and his compadre to my left who prepped long advancement for this show. Uh, I did not. I just got done with hair and makeup. Yeah. I over didn't Over another I shot. It's I called didn't. The Bathroom with Orange. You took orange so long, I, mean. I couldn't get it. What? Hair and makeup took so long. Yeah. I had a meeting with uh, the orange, Ar the, the orange, the orange <laughs> cleaner, hand that? cleaner. Oh, the hand oh. The cleaner, the hand cleaner. Okay. Scrubbing bubbles. I was over there working in the garage. Oh. Mm. How does okay. That? How'd it feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Graphics is on today's topic, everybody. And uh, Matt, perfect. Great. Maybe the mic just fell. Let me get PJ. that. You just set the mic up. I guess I'm doing marketing now too. No, I know what can happen already. Everybody's going to be like, "We do not hear yet." Yeah, because the mic fell. Do we need it up like that? Is that purposeful there? Yeah. That's, that's perfect. Good. good. That's good. Then now they wonder where that good. strange voice was coming out. Yeah, there's a guy behind the camera. Thanks, <laughs> like We're going to do an episode on that. We should. We will. An Let's episode on our own marketing, guys. We're getting way out of line. <laughs> we have uh, graphics on tap for today. Like that. Ring pretty well. Nice. And uh, we're going to talk about different stuff that we do with graphics. So we have our own uh, graphics department at Rapid Response called Market Graphics. We have three people right now that work in there. Uh, it's all they do is graphic stuff and sign stuff and things like that. I'm holding a cool sign up. It's our poop fairy sign that we made. This is on some material. PJ, tell us about this material that this sign is made on. So what this is. This is your typical yard sign material. It's uh, corrugated plastic, so it's very light. And uh, you get metal stakes with it. And then you can put it, your, you see them all over the place, landscaping companies, construction companies for advertisement or elections coming up, yes. Election signs, so or any message you want. We'll make an expensive sign. Very to, expensive, yeah. To, to print, we just uh, print the vinyl, put the vinyl on top of it, and it's done. But we can use this more than just that. If somebody has like a temporary building project or something, maybe that's yep. like a year run, and you don't want metal signs. This would be a good solution for that. You know, instead of instead of using uh, a metal sign, but it holds up extremely well outside. Yes, to the so weather. It'll last for a couple of years. I mean, yeah, that's what it's made really. for. Outside. Very yeah. So this is just one of the signs. We also have metal signs, metal metal blanks. Um, we couldn't carry like any big cool like LED sign boards in here, but um, uh, a company called Watchfire. We do offer Watchfire LED signs, which is neat. So if you have any businesses that you need any uh, any of that done, we do it all in house. We, we take care. We take care of all that. So it's pretty cool. A lot of people don't know us for a lot of sign stuff. Um, like anything, you know, a lot of people know us for our vehicle stuff. Specifically, emergency side more, but we do a ton more than that. But uh, so that's our that's our sign spiel, right? Yeah. So cool. what we got here? DJ? So this would be a vehicle graphic um, material. Same thing. What we want to sort of talk about here again is the design aspect. You can hold it up. That'd be nice for everybody else. Um, design aspect. This one, um, whether you have a design made or whether you have the need for design, you have an idea, but you need us to design it, we can do all that in-house. Right. Mm -hmm. So whether it's a logo, whether it's a marketing spiel, oh, sorry. I'm to do oh, um, <laughs> we can design it, and then we can make your graphics out of it, whether it's for a vehicle, whether it's for signage, um, whether it's even just making a logo for your company for your marketing stuff, we can provide you with any kind of. And we have so device. many different like okay, so vinyls and out there that are out there today. Right. There's there's so many different kinds, right? We have 3M, we have uh, name some other ones, Oracle, Avery, Avery, right? So we have so many different vinyl that are out there. We primarily use 3M exclusive. 3M. Yep. Yeah, 3M exclusive. And uh, we just found out that uh, over the years of working vinyl, that it holds up the best. Yep. It's easiest to work with. Very Might easy. not be the cheapest all the time, but uh, you buy cheap, you get cheap. Yes, so absolutely. We've learned that many times on vehicles <laughs> yes. um, in the past, you know. 
So we, we definitely learned that. So as far as in the different types of vinyl, so we have non-reflective, yep. we have reflective. So tell us the difference about reflective, and then I'm going to ask you a lovely question that everybody always asks them okay. about reflective. So. Um, so reflective, it just what the name says, it reflects. So especially in, in, at night, so you see this a lot on police and emergency vehicles, but if you need it for a personal vehicle, you're you know, out on the road a lot or whatever it may be, you can put reflective and they can, we can print right on top of it. So whether it's a single color or whether it's multi-color like this design, um, all will reflect um, when light hits it, especially at nighttime. So, so we ultimately take regular reflective vinyl, White vinyl yeah. and we print on top of it, yep. but the reflective crystal per se still comes through. Yes. Comes through the comes through the, the color that the we printed, right? The ink. Yes. So, and cool. with almost all our vinyl, I would say exclusively again, except for very rare occasions, everything gets laminated. So what that does for you, it protects from scratching, and also the biggest thing is fading with the UV sunlight. So just giving it years, more years, um, of protection and durability. It helps with like shrinkage and yep. fading and everything else, right? So, yeah, we laminate everything. Yep. We figured it out one time, uh, this was Ridiculous. years ago, like what it would cost if we don't laminate a vehicle. Because we've actually have competed with some people yep. that's like, well, we don't want it laminated. And our answer to that is, is we don't do the job. Um, we just won't do it. Because in three years from now, um, people walk by the vehicle and be like, who did that graphics job? You know, and they, they don't understand. Well, you're the one who didn't want to pay for the lamination when it's really pennies and cents on that whole vehicle product. Right. It's like 100 bucks, 150 bucks. If, if it's a whole big vehicle. If it's a whole big vehicle. Like it's very, it's it's not very, uh, it's like, would you paint a car in today's world without clear coating it? No. No. It's the same, it's the same aspect. That's the best way to, to explain that. So uh, we also have um, some prismatic vinyl. If you want to tell us a little bit about prismatic so vinyl. Prismatic vinyl, vinyl so, what you normally see this on is this, especially the striping, you're going to see on fire apparatus. Um, most of all, your street signage is now prismatic, which just adds an element. It's a little bit more reflective than your standard engine engine grade, what they call it, engineer grade reflective vinyl. Um, and this stuff is actually printed with the striping on it. And it is a conformable, so it's still hard to see maybe on the video. But word. this is actually conformable. Mm -hmm. um, it is on diamond plate and goes very nicely over the diamond plate and conforms to that. So that is a lot nicer than say 10 years ago when this kind of material was a lot more thicker cardboard style. So you would not have done that. Um, one thing, one thing they probably notice, like in our in our videos as well, is, is we always talk about how we take door handles off and we wrap underneath it. And that's another thing with this vinyl material is is how how it conforms, Absolutely. you know, yes. yeah, conformability to, to stuff, and, uh, you know, old school vinyl guys in garages, and even years ago, we sprayed a lot of, we sprayed a lot of soapy water, yeah. right, uh, don't tell me if you never did vinyl, you didn't spray soapy water on your vehicle, so, um, don't drop that, it's $400, they're like $375, it was yours, uh oh, it was mine, so, but, uh, they're like, they're, uh, we used to always wow. spray stuff, you know. Yeah. So what's interesting now with this vinyl is, is what it's what we have called air release vinyl, yeah. and on the back of it, if you look real close, it almost looks like little grid lines. Yeah. And it, it's little channels in there, and when you when you squeeze it and you push it and you move it around, it's still an art to put it on, but you don't have to put all this liquid on and worry about stuff lifting quicker yeah. with liquid and reacting to the vehicle and that type of stuff. So we only yeah. use that type of vinyl. So, but uh, yeah. Katie, do you want to tell us about? like gold leaf. gold leaf yeah so like gold leaf how we can um the difference between these two that are laying here so so this is actually gold leaf material um we get this straight from the manufacturer like that and we can actually print a version of gold leaf too which is a photoshop um version or rendition of basically what this is and this stuff is actually kind of nice because if you're doing like a graphic and you want it to be one solid piece, you can kind of get away with doing this a little bit better. Whereas this has to be separated. Um, just if you want regular vinyl, like say you want striping and then you want your Maltese cross in like gold leaf. Um, we right. ran into this just recently and this is separated. So 
There's different advantages to both of them, but this we're able to tweak a little bit more, change coloring a little bit more, texture, different things like that, um, highlight shadows. You know. Well, and that's a good example. We just recently did a table for the fire department, for Belgrade Fire Department, and uh, we did a this gold leaf material, which yes. is very vibrant, very detailed. I would call it maybe old school, like gold leafing, yeah. hand gold leafing. Classic. Yeah, classic. We can actually do a, a vehicle, a ladder truck or whatever in this type of material. And you can't tell a difference no. really between having it done by hand, but say thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, <laughs> you know, uh, lots of money by going this route. And it holds up just as well. Actually, it holds up probably better, yeah. you know. So, and uh, we laminate this as well. Yep. It would still laminate this, you know, so it's still protected. And with this, when we print the blue and uh, the blue and the red on this, it might be a little hard to see there on the camera, but uh, the the engineered gold leaf material actually comes through that. Where if we don't want that, if the department doesn't want that, then we actually have to start doing overlays, which yep. is kind of like uh, old school to us. We yes. don't really like doing that, mm -hmm. you know. But that's why yeah. sometimes this is the better option. Yeah. Here you can see that this black is very opaque versus the black is pretty much opaque on this, but the colors and stuff like that, you get a little bit more of the engine turned through. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Last material we hate to have here is wall material. So they make different styles of wall material. This one is wall and floor, and this would be for block, brick, concrete. Um, so it, essentially when you put it on, it will conform very well to that surface and looks actually like paint. So anything, whether it's in your departments or whether it's in your garage or on your you know, office building or whatever it may be, um, in different places, or you want stuff on the floor, um, even around swimming pools, this will get used, you know, for different signage around the swimming pools that's actually on the concrete. They make, the, correct me if I'm wrong, but they make this in a grip material as well? Yeah, they make so, this that has, has sort of, I'm not sure exactly what kind of particle film, it's like sand, so it is, is that grip style. Which might so work better, like around, floor. you said swimming pool, which yep. reminded me, it might work better like around the swimming pool. So yep. if you want like cool stuff around your swimming pool, custom logos made, Things like that, um, we can definitely do that for you. This is uh, reminds you of uh, aluminum foil, right? <laughs> yes. Um, the backing's like aluminum foil, bends like aluminum bends. foil, crinkles like aluminum foil, and uh, you just put it on with the roller, and it, it looks really cool. And and uh, that, that's that's a pretty pretty neat stuff. Yeah. So. And then there's also wall material that's more just more vinyl. That's more for drywall. Um, yeah, if you put this on drywall, right. probably wouldn't be a good idea. No. No, yeah, you'll so. get pieces of drywall. <laughs> you'll, so you'll kill the you'll kill the drywall apart with something like that. So oh, they're there again, drywall. Whether you want logos or quotes or anything at all for offices, businesses, personal, even at homes, we've done people for homes, and I guess that's another aspect of there again. We're not just about the emergency side. We will do for any anybody and everybody that comes in. Yeah. And, and, you know, people say about doing like pictures on their walls or saying on their walls and things like that. And, and we know you can buy some of that stuff just randomly off, you know, simple sayings off, off the internet, but, but customize. You know, if you want something customized, a custom saying that you have in your household, uh, a big logo, a, a picture of, of uh, PJ on your wall. You know, Which I mean, I we, can, we would sell it. We could do that. <laughs> we, we would. I mean, so, but but we'd be able to do that and uh, come in you and install it if you're local. And if not, we ship it worldwide. Yeah. I and mean, we ship graphics all over the place, you yeah. know, for people. So we do have uh, companies that that uh, get their graphics from us and we ship them to, you know, another, states. another states. New, other, York. New York, different states. Down Louisiana. Yeah, all over the place. California. So we're, we're known for, for just more than just... Uh, you know, the emergency side of things, you yeah. know, but we can do a little bit of everything. So, yeah, I mean, it's just interesting where the graphics department was, right. where it's going, and where it, I would say steadily has continued to increase throughout the years in, in business. Uh, I think the hardest thing with the graphics department for our viewers and for our customers is to, for them to understand that we do a lot more than just public safety. Yeah. That has yeah. been always a, a thing. People know us as public yeah. safety. But we have drastically have done a, a ton more even over the last 12 months yes. of, 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 yes. of more than just that, you know, which brings us into some heat pressing and, and uh, screen printing and things like that, which we do in the graphics department as well. 
So uh, you want to talk about uh, some some screen printing stuff that we've done? Episode. We can do another episode. We'll do another episode. You're gonna have to wait, but we do screen printing, so we do like shirts and stuff like that. Um, and we can maybe bring some shirts over and talk about that different materials of how we do screen printing. It's a modernized way of screen printing. I think it's important that people know that it's not like old school screens. It's a newer, modern way. Stuff doesn't crack. Stuff you know, it's it's really good stuff. Um, and we do. 100 shirts, we can do 12 shirts, we can do 50 shirts, you know, whatever. Uh, we can we can accommodate accommodate that request, absolutely. So, but yeah, this is just another, uh, another good episode of, of a Doc360. Remember, if you have any questions, email us. So doc360 at 911rapidresponse.com. We would love to give you viewers uh, product away. Um, we just need to, you just gotta email us, right? What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? What do you want to see? What do you want to see? What do you want to learn about? You know, do you want to, what do you want to hear? You want to learn about comparisons of product? You want to learn about, uh, you know, how long it takes Katie to get ready in the morning to come to work? I mean, uh, you want to know how cold how she, al make, how cold yeah, she always is? That is true. <laughs> how we make yeah. PJ stickers. If any of you viewers would like to donate a heater um, <laughs> and, cool. and money for the electric bill. <laughs> You're welcome to send it to 700 West Main Street. Uh, in courtesy of Katie's name. Toe warmers. Thank you. Thank you. Toe warmers. Yeah. Toe warmers. Yeah. Keep your feet warm. I have a blanket already. She has a blanket. blanket. So can you get her some carpet or something? That'd can be great. Get, uh, carpet in yeah. her area. Be a little warmer, cozier. Radiant, just for her so, area. Radiant yeah. floor. Radiant floor. We'll jackhammer that up later. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> send us a bell. Yeah. Yeah, take it off our paycheck. Uh, paycheck. We'll payroll payroll, payroll we'll deduction. Payroll deduction. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. Do you think we should uh, get Katie radiant heat, right? Yeah, I guess <laughs> that's, that's what we're asking. That's what we're asking. Do you think we should get her radiant heat yes. in the floor? And what do you think her payroll deduction should be? PJ. That's fair. PJ's payroll that's fair. deduction. I'm not cold. I would say probably I'm fine. Like a couple thousand well, dollars. I've been cold before. I'm fine. So, I'm fine. But, well, thanks again for joining us on, on uh, Doc 360. We'll have an episode next week. We're going to go over uh, some different cool things as well, maybe some processes, and, and uh, we're going to get into some, uh, as I said before, some light bar patterns and things like that we're going to get into. Can I join that? That's going to be cool. That's going to be a really cool episode. Done in a while. Yeah, we're actually going to have to stay late for that night because we want to do some like nighttime, uh, oh. some like nighttime night. shots of that. I like that would that. be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it can either come like at 4 a.m., or we can just stay till like. 5:30 and it's dark. We gotta do it soon though. Yeah, it's true. It's gonna change. So, but thanks again. I uh, hope you enjoyed another uh, episode, episode five of Doc 360. Have a great and safe day, everyone.